Hey guys, what's up? Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm just going to do a quickie little fragrance review on a fragrance I got kind of um, a couple years ago now, but I haven't really worn it a lot at all. I wore it kind of a bunch of times when I first got it, but I haven't really worn it like in a regular thing because it's kind of just a normal, one of those um, not power, not a super amazing fragrance but it's just a just a nice sort of eau de cologne type of fragrance I guess that you would just splash on and wear and just smell nice well this is it Monsieur Musk by it's a it says actually right here cologne <clears throat> I forgot that it might have said that but this is Monsieur Musk cologne I really like musk as a, a fragrance note um, even like an incense note, I have some musk incense. And I just love the smell of musk because it's a warm, comforting, relaxing scent that just smells nice. Um, it's got, um, I've read it's described as like mysterious or uh, masculine or macho. A lot of scents, probably almost every scent has musk in it. Some scents are more musk focused, some just have musk as, um, you know, sort of a underlying ingredient that helps with the perfume or something, but I just like musk by itself as a note too, and I like musk fragrances, and fragrances with a, with a, with a lot of musk in it primarily is kind of ones that I kind of gravitate to, but this one is, um, it says here, okay, he likes it, she likes it, the scent everyone understands, strong, sensual, and totally refreshing blend of subtle essences. There's only one way to know its remarkable effect. Try it. Try it. Buy it. Okay. Um. So, I mean, you can't try it unless you buy it. So that's kind of the tagline. But this only costed. Um, I think this was only like eight bucks. Got this on a website. This is uh two two ounce. I got this one, and then there was another one. So I actually got that one too, and it was like eight bucks, I think, for each one with um, free shipping like on one of those deal days. For ingredients it just says alcohol, water, and fragrance. Um, made in the USA, Dana Classic Fragrances. This is a Dana fragrance now. If um, A lot of Dana fragrances, like Dana has some nice kind of fragrances, at least the, the few, very few that I've smelt, but this is a, one of those Dana fragrances. I haven't smelt a lot of them, but they're all really cheap fragrances. And I want to get a couple more and try them. Um, and this one was musk, so I just got it and I tried it. So <clears throat> this is my gonna gonna be like my impression. I've smelled it a few times. Um, so interestingly, so this is Monsieur Musk. I've re I've read that um I think I forget when this came this came out that I read somewhere, but I think it was in the seventies. It says, um, and I read, I was reading about this, and they were saying that Huba Gaunt is the original uh, maker of this, and these bottles that I ended up getting anyways, say, um, let's say Huba Gaunt, right there, it's like Huba Gaunt, Paris, Huba Gaunt 1995, Paris, London, I don't know, what that means, but it says it also says Dana in the box, and I think Dana makes it now. If you if you look up on the website or go to buy it in some places, it's by Dana, and I think they have a clear bottle now. But I don't know if this is like a vintage or something. I've read people rave about it, but I wouldn't go out and look for any vintages, even with any perfumes, because I don't see the appeal to it. I want a new fragrance that's recently made. This it definitely has the musky smell. Um, I mean, it smells really nice. Um, let me splash some on. So this is a splash, basically. Let's rub some on. Um, what I get with this, <clears throat> it's like, um, it's kind of, it's definitely musk. It's, um, it's like a warm musk. Um, it's like a warm, it smells like, um, if I could say it in one, word it'd be like it smells like a bar of soap it has a really soapy quality but like a bar of soap if you just said musk soap and 
it's not really spicy or anything. It's just uh, it smells like musk, but it has a soapy quality, like a bar of soap, like a dry bar of soap. Smell that. You get that dry bar of soap, soapy smell, and the musk smell, and um, it smells masculine, but it smells. It's not strong. It, it has a little bit of spice in it, but it's not a spicy scent. It smells kind of like a cool scent, not a hot abrasive scent. But it's musk. But it's got the warm musk. It smells soapy, like a like a bar of soap, and it has a, a little bit of spiciness. I think there's a little bit of a piney smell in this, kind of like juniper or something. And I think I smell a floral piece kind of not floral but floral in a way of lavender like I think there's probably lavender in this so that's basically it what I get with this I get musk dry bar of soap um, a little bit of spiciness some lavender and like some juniper berry or something in there too um, and <clears throat> I've worn this in different weather conditions like now it just smells it just smells kind of like all that to get to combined. Mostly, it smells mostly kind of like a bar of soap, soapiness, um, musky type of scent like this. And I've worn it in the summer, and when I've warmed up, like when I've been out working and doing something like gardening or something, this has a lot of cinnamon in it. The cinnamon is the spiciness, and and I've noticed that when it warms up, I definitely would smell cinnamon, like smelling a cinnamon jar or something almost. Can get to that level if it warms up it definitely I smell a lot of cinnamon and I think I also smell a lot of like juniper berry like juniper type of scent is the pine when it really warms up so there's that I'm not a big fan of cinnamon in a scent I don't like it that much I don't like the smell of cinnamon all that much like in a cinnamon jar but a lot of scents do kind of use cinnamon to add some spiciness and add some go along with the warmth in a scent because cinnamon's a warm smelling spice and anyways, this isn't that, but this isn't like a it smell like cinnamon or anything, but it has cinnamon in it, and it's it's just pretty good. It's um it's not a mind blowing scent by any means. Um, I actually think like the Javon Musk is even probably a little bit better as in terms of fragrance wise. Um, but this is um it's just kind of splash on. It lasts a good amount of hours. And it's just one of those scents to splash on casually or spray on. You can get the spray on bottle too. And to, to just have a musky aura scent around you with that little bit of spiciness, a little bit of juniper, and this like a soapy smell. I like musk, so anyways, this is my impression on this one, Musky Musk by Dana. And um, I haven't tried the, the newest iteration of this. Um, I'm thinking it'll probably smell the same, but anyways, so that's all I can say about that. It's just, um, if you ever smell the musk scent, it's kind of a, it's a masculine scent, but it's a really pleasant, relaxing, comforting type of scent. It smells masculine, but it's not a, it just smells comforting too, for me. So there you go. Uh, musky, musky or musk. Check it.